Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lions. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is RimWorld. Well, things are looking very grim. Very grim indeed. We're down to two colonists. Uh, Samantha died of an infection because she went on a dazed wander uh, during her illness. I I mentioned last episode that I could have um, had Koth or the other character. Wow, I just suddenly had a flash of lost consciousness and forgot her name. Um, yeah, I could have had somebody melee her, knock her down, and then rescue her and treat her. Uh, I might have been able to save her that way, but things being as they are, they didn't work out that way. So, stuck with two colonists now. Um, thankfully the growing season is upon us. Lots of crops have been planted. And so that may be able to continue on. Um, we might... We had a crashed escape pod, but the character was just absolute nonsense. Um, nothing nearly like anything I would want to have on my colony by any stretch of the imagination. Oh man. Sorry if I sound a little weird. I was mowing today and my allergies are really kicking me in the face right now. Flowers. How could I forget a name like Flowers? That seems utterly ridiculous that it would slip my mind, but it did. Alright guys. Let's pump up the jam. And by the jam I mean the speed. And I'm not talking about the drug, I mean the gaming speed. Oh, can I please have you haul this? Thank you. Go ahead and haul that as well. And then I suppose I should bump up his construction uh, to get him to work on that. He's trying to go cut down a tree, but I think getting this other room completed is going to be ideal. Yep, repairs all around. Okay, the turbines are fine. Flowers is doing a clean, so that's all we need right now. Ah, there goes that roof section that I set up last time. I had noticed that the wood was deteriorating from being unroofed. And I also mentioned that, um... Yeah, I've got the sneaking suspicion that even with all of the problems that we've dealt with so far, a, uh... toxic fallout is likely not far away. Yeah, that should automatically be roofed when the time comes. I don't know if they'll be able to reach this over here. I think they will. We'll see how it goes. And for RP reasons, you could just assume uh, that all of this is for shade. He's a roof building fool, him, Koth. Alright, so we've got a shoddy bed, a normal bed, a poor bed, and a good steel bed. I say we deconstruct these two beds. Actually, let's just deconstruct all of them. Because by now, Koth has a much better construction skill. So we can get something reasonable going around. We have a lot of wood stored up, so I think wooden plant pots are going to be the order of the day. I'll throw down four in each room. We'll see how it goes. I still don't know what their area of influence is, how far away they can be um, 
from the characters and still offer their beauty benefits. So as you can see, I'm trying not to be discouraged, even though horrible things have happened to me in this past, I don't know, four or five playthroughs. I'm trying to keep it on going, trying to stay on top of the game, and I get some more things accomplished. Oh, let's see what quality he came up with. Normal. That's pretty bad. I think I might have to deconstruct and try again. Unless it was Flowers who built it, I don't know. I don't think she's building anything right now, though. I'm probably gonna have to figure out, um, passive coolers as well. I'm not sure if I want to set up the power generation enough to have coolers in every bedroom. I suppose... If I get uh, geothermal power going, then it won't be a problem. Especially if I have two geysers harnessed. I should be able to handle that pretty easily. There's a poor quality table. Gaudy chair, good chair. Excellent and normal. Good, normal. Let's for sure deconstruct. Uh, anything below excellent or good, I think, probably be retried. That means this table is also going to get deconstructed. Oh no. Oh, I didn't even notice this one. Mad animal. A crazy iguana. Yes, I said it properly that time. Be pleased. Oh, left these out for far too long. Can you please hold that inside? Run, Koth, run! The terrible lizard. Tyrannosaurus Iguana. Alright, forget about it. Just bite his head. Punch him in the face. Oh, wow. It's actually doing quite a bit of damage. There we go. That'll help out his melee skill anyways, which is absolutely abysmal. Wait a minute. Does he not get... Yeah, it says as well as unarmed combat. But he didn't seem to be gaining much XP from that. Why would you ever consume the iguana corpse, Koth? What are you thinking about? Butcher it up first. And I... Wow. We're already out of food again. I've just realized we're at 70% grown. 97. So these strawberries should be coming up. Grown very soon. Very, very soon. The growth rate is 100% right now. Which is pretty good. I'm trying to keep an eye on him because I don't want him to just go and eat uh, the raw iguana meat when he's done. I have a strong suspicion that he will. Yep, he's eating it right now. Ya dummy! Alright, how much iguana meat is that? Nine. Of course it is. Because we need ten to make a meal. Alright, 
Yep, you are starving to death. It's not good. Dog, how are you starving? Um... If I get the dog to follow Koth... Right? You're gonna follow him because you're... checked to follow him? Okay, here he comes. Flowers, did you just eat the agave after you picked it? I'm pretty sure she probably did. There is quite a few agave plants ready to harvest around. Alright. Are you going to eat that? It's wandering. I guess since it's forbidden, she won't eat it? I don't know. Okay, there she goes. And that should fix the starvation problem for the dog, at least. Flowers, are you eating all of the agave? No. Oh, yes you are. Oh! We don't even have... power right now. Go ahead and haul it then. Flare is ending. Okay. Uh, so flowers, I can draft you up again, and now that we have electricity, you can go ahead and cook that agave. Koth, come down here and okay, cut that plant. And we've got one more over here. Where did it go? Right here. Oh, Koth needs to tend to himself as well. Flowers, what are you doing? You're so dumb. You know what? I'm gonna make you haul this agave fruit in because of how dumb you are. Yep, Koth has an infection now. Right, Koth. Why? I don't get it. I don't understand. That doesn't make any sense to me. She should have picked up one agave fruit and brought it over here and cooked it. Why does she have to pick that up and then put it back down again? Why is she eating the iguana meat when I just told her to cook food? That's infuriating. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Now she ate something and now she's gone to bed, that's fine. We should have a whole load of strawberries ready to harvest. Nope, Koth, don't be as stupid as the game decides that you are. You're gonna cook at the stove, please. Oh. 
frustration is real. Their food situation, I understand. Okay. He's got two infections now. See if he can get a little bit of medicine in him to help out. It still wasn't very good quality. We'll have to see how it goes. Okay, the flowers, what are you doing right now? Harvesting agave? Probably shouldn't worry about that so much. Harvest these instead. All right, let's see. Nope. Seven percent behind right now. Trying to catch up. Oh, not right now, please. Attacking immediately. Why? Why? Why, game? What do we got? Bolt action, steel knife, and a poor pistol. Flowers. All, all of these berries. Um, dog. All of flowers. Man. I guess by now I probably should have had a turret or two up. But, I don't know. Maybe I am dumb. Maybe I'm just really bad at this game or something. It does look like they're going to try to come across right over here. Nope. Wrong. Alright, there we go. Oh wow, that's not good. Oh no, come on Aaron. You gotta survive so that you can help me out here. Oh, you made a mistake. Okay, it was a headshot. Left ear is shot off now. Not good. Got four hours before he needs tending. At five percent behind right now. Left eye, right eye, both cut out, so he's completely blind now. Oh man! Rescue the dog. Resting no. Tend to the dog, please. Or it dies. Okay. Any time now. Twelve hours. Eighteen hours. Okay. 
Okay. I'll cook a couple of meals. Yep, I don't even mind it that she's getting the raw foods from down there. Eat goth. Probably needs tended to by now. Yes. Oh man. It's up to 8% bread now. Okay, she's going to get the medicine immediately. Path is probably dead. Most likely. The treatment quality was pretty terrible. Yeah, it's staying 5% behind right now. Okay, well, uh, that's going to be it for this episode, um, this series as well. I don't know about RimWorld anymore. Um, maybe I just need to take a break for a while. I've been playing it every day for almost a year now. Maybe I just wasn't properly prepared for a desert scenario. I should have got started on the crops and stuff faster. I've been getting uh, sort of careless with the way I've been building up my colonies and stuff like that. So I don't know, maybe I give it one more try, um, and if everybody dies, then I'll quit. Man, what a rough time. I've only had one successful colony in so long really discouraging. But I'm going to keep at it. I am going to keep at it. I'm going to try again. So if you want to catch the next episode, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link in the video description, and feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you very much for all the time you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell. well.